hunters are convinced Meghan Markle is pregnant with twins after bookmaker Coral took a sudden rush of bets on her giving birth to two babies. Coral has cut the odds on Meghan Markle having twins when she gives birth next spring from 8-1 to 2-4-1 after taking a flurry of bets over the last 24 hours. The Duchess of Sussex is also 51 to have triplets, while a boy is the favorite at 10-11 in the gender betting. Coral's John Hill said, Many punters feel as though Meghan and Harry will have their hands full with not one but two babies next year. We have seen a rush of bets since their announcement for the couple to have twins. Coral is also taking bets on the name of Meghan and Prince Harry's first child, with James a huge early favorite at 7-1. Other notable names receiving bets are Victoria at 8-1, Thomas at 12-1, Diana and Elizabeth both at 16-1, and Philip at 21. Outside bets include Donald and Kanye, after Donald Trump and Kanye West, at 151, while Theresa, after Prime Minister Theresa May, is a huge long shot at 201. Mr. Hill added, over 60% of all the bets we have taken so far have been for James who is the early favorite. But if it is a girl, Victoria, Olivia and Diana are the names which are being heavily backed. On Monday. Bookmakers predicted punters could pile in more than pound six million in wagers as speculation over the name of Meghan and Harry's baby reaches fever pitch. Betting intelligence website www.bookmakers.tv said the rush to place bets will outstrip that witnessed with all three of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children. Such is the popularity of Harry and Meghan royal fans will rush to speculate on the name arrival date and much more in volumes massively eclipsing the estimated £3 million registered for the entirety of the Cambridge family. Spokesman Alex Costin said, Meghan and Harry's popularity is off the charts and their good news will send the public into a royal betting frenzy of epic proportions. Fans are so keen to speculate on every aspect of the baby and millions will be riding on the name, arrival date and sex among many other predictions. He added, Bookies will be desperate the pair go for an outside choice of name as if they follow tradition, royal watchers will cash in like never before. Bedford spokeswoman Katie Bayless said, at this stage Diana, Arthur, and Alice, which was favored at different stages for Kate and William's babies, are the 12-1 front runners. However, with months until the baby is born, those odds will shorten, change and other names will come to the forefront, so watch this space. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes added, with Meghan's USA roots it would be remiss of bookmakers to rule out an American moniker featuring somewhere. Meghan is currently on her first global royal tour with Harry, and has been showing off her pregnancy glow during their first visits in Australia. Their 16-day trip will see them watch the Invictus Games, and then fly to Fiji, Donga, and New Zealand, before returning to Australia for their final stop. Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor-General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception, before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here so I'm very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. 
Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously, New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all clear. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are delighted to be expecting their first baby in the spring of 2019. So why is Meghan considered to be having a geriatric pregnancy? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their exciting news on Monday as they embarked on a jam-packed two-week tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. The couple were out for the first day of the tour on Tuesday, with Meghan showing hints of a baby bump in a chic white dress. And while the Duchess looks radiant with good health, her age, Meghan is 37, technically classifies her as having a geriatric pregnancy. The term was used for women who are 35 and above but is now considered very old-fashioned. Meghan certainly isn't alone in having her pregnancy later in her 30s. According to figures from the Office for National Statistics, 54% of mums in England and Wales are 30 and above. And about 1 in 5 is 35 or older when she gives birth. In fact, the Queen herself had a geriatric pregnancy. Queen Elizabeth II, now 92, gave birth to Prince Edward at the age of 37, the same age Meghan will be when she delivers. Meghan's sister-in-law, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, also had a geriatric pregnancy, giving birth to Prince Louis at the age of 36. The first major royal tour for the couple will encompass the four Commonwealth nations over two weeks. Kensington Palace announced the trip will focus on youth leadership, and projects being undertaken by young people to address the social, economic, and environmental challenges of the region. The visit will also concentrate on environmental and conservation efforts, and the whole trip will center around the Invictus Games, to be held in Sydney. Prince Harry was appointed Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April, and is said to be eager to begin his work in his new role. The couple will take part in a staggering 76 engagements during the tour, and while Meghan will be very involved, she is said to be, understandably, a bit nervous. Meghan, unlike Kate Middleton who waited a year before making a speech, will be speaking publicly more than once. An aide said, she's very confident and will be speaking several times throughout the program. As the newest member of the royal family, however, she's not impervious to nerves. It's her first tour? It's all very new and quite daunting, the aide said. Meghan has brought her best friend Jessica Moroni along for extra support as the Duchess enters an exciting new phase at a very busy time. There's no denying that Duchess Meghan is a style icon, but her latest look could suggest more than just good fashion sense. In fact, some people are speculating that the way Meghan has worn her hair at recent royal engagements means she's actually pregnant. That would be one way to make a dramatic reveal. For her last few public appearances, Meghan has worn her hair down and straight, a departure from her usual flowing waves and low bun. While the new style looks stunning on the 37-year-old, it's come at a time where rumors are rife around whether she's pregnant, and this only fuels them. The reasoning? Kate Middleton has previously changed her hairstyle right before she's announced her pregnancies, with thoughts that the change in style on top will draw attention away from the rest of her body, and more specifically her growing tum. What's more, Kate's sister Pippa Middleton also employed the technique before her baby announcement, exchanging her longer tresses for a lob haircut. This seriously thickens the Is Meghan Pregnant? plot. It's not the only hint we've heard that the Duchess of Sussex might be expecting. Earlier in September, TV psychic Sally Morgan predicted that Meghan would be pregnant before the end of the year. While some may choose not to believe it, Sally does have some credibility to her former predictions, she correctly called the genders of Wills and Kate's three children before they were born. Spookily, she also predicted that Meghan wouldn't walk down the aisle with her mother, Doria, at her wedding.
Meghan indeed ended up walking down the aisle with Charles. Meghan's clothing choices of late have also had people questioning whether she's hiding a growing bump. Earlier this month, the Duchess attended a gala concert named 100 Days to Peace wearing a blue Jason Wu dress with strategically placed ruffles down the front. Furthermore, this week she wore a peplum Oscar de Laurenti blouse, a popular style for pregnant women. Whether she's pregnant or not at this very minute is anyone's guess. But we know that the royal newlyweds are definitely keen to start a family, Harry said it himself in their official engagement interview. With all of this in mind, we'll be on High Royal Bump Watch Alert, stay tuned. <laughs>